cry. At the very time critics of lynching were denouncing the behavior as betraying our national ideals of democracy and equal rights, the proponents of lynching praised the behavior in the very same terms, that when the will of the people is invoked, lynching can be an acceptable means of punishment. My grandfather was a physically small man, but he had an enormous spirit. I'd seen a photograph of a lynching in the county courthouse, courthouse of my hometown, and he said, I once tried to stop a lynching. He said a lot of the people in the congregation had participated in that lynching. I'd seen them, and I knew that I had to get the message across to them that this was not all right, this was not part of Christ's preachings. I was traveling over to East Texas, and right outside Corsicana, I picked up some old boy that was hitchhiking a ride, and I said, well, where are you heading? He said, well, I got word there's going to be a lynching over in Athens, and I want to be there. I said, I stopped the car. I pulled it to a sudden stop. I said, Get the hell out of this car. And they got me up to the tree. They put the rope around my neck, and they throw the end of the rope over the limb of the tree. I kept looking to the right and to the left and begging for help and telling the people to help me that I hadn't done anything to deserve this. And they were getting ready to pull me up when I prayed to God. I said, Lord, have mercy and forgive me my sins. As soon as I prayed, a voice came out and said, take this boy back. He had nothing to do with any killing or raping. And that voice came from far away, drifting down. And uh, that mob that had already killed two human beings, those hands became soft and kind and tender. And they took that rope off my neck and they allowed me to stumble and stagger back to the jail, which was just a half a block away. The story of American lynching has never been the subject of a feature-length documentary. And yet even now we still hear lynching's grim but clear echoes. James Byrd dragged to his death on the night of June 6, 1998 in Jasper, Texas. Matthew Shepard bludgeoned to death on October 7, 1998 in Laramie, Wyoming. This is a story that needs to be told about the lynchings in this country. It should be told in all its truthfulness in all its uh, clarity, in all its reasons. And how did Leonard Gakinya die?